welcome to a new video um today i'm going to be doing something sort of new i'm going to do a project share and envelope decorating so you'll get two in one i've actually done that before i realize now if you want to see another one i will link it down below um but i just wanted to take a quick moment to talk to you via my webcam i hope that is um I think the quality is quite good actually. I never use it except for when I do the live streams. But okay, I wanted to talk to you guys about actually this video. Um, if you see a little black shadow, that's news <laughs> walking past. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about this video because when I was editing it, I realized that I sound sort of down or something. I sound kind of gloom or sad i don't even know i don't know why um but, but i just wanted to tell you guys nose cleaning in the background very charming very ladylike i just wanted to tell you guys that i'm actually doing quite good some really exciting things are coming up um i won't bother you too much with that but uh, just know that i've already said it a dozen times but i do have a second channel there's no videos on there yet but i want to use that for like life updates to keep the introduction to the chattiness in this video a little bit more neutral i guess so and i do have some footage for that video and i want to upload it sometime this week yay so i will uh link that channel down below again probably it's always it's always in the description <sighs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but okay, please go follow the, that channel if you want to uh, know more about my very exciting life updates. A uh, little hint, it has to do with cats and drum roll please, a future craft room, yay! So okay, no more, uh, <laughs> no more spoilers, I will, I promise I will get that video up this week, so I just have to figure out how I'm gonna make it interesting and how to combine different footages and then you will see that soon. So okay, now I enjoy this video. I did talk during the video and I'm also doing voiceovers, I think. So enjoy. <laughs> okay, so we wanted to do a quick project share of this outgoing mail. Um, it's just a pen pal letter. Oh, I don't wanna show you the letter itself. I decorated the headers real quick. Well, not quick, but sort of easily. See, I just use washi tape nose. My cat nose is in an extremely annoying um, way today. I just want to show you that I decorated the banners. Um, as you can see, for this, I just used washi tape strips and the die cut, and then I, I, I dotted this around the the date. I dotted it with a golden gel pen. Nose. She's like our little weatherman. And then for this one, I used paper scraps and I tore them a little bit because I think that looks nicer. And I drew on here and I dotted also the page a little bit with a white gel pen and I stamped this monster. I don't know if you can see it, it's very light. This monster I'll leave on there. So that's just my, um, my letter and then my letter is going in this envelope here and uh, first of all as you can see i made this envelope myself by using flow magazine paper i'm thinking maybe i should cover this up because it's bothering me a little bit i'll do that in the meantime actually i think i already know why i was talking so softly uh, because usually when Gijs is home or working from home i always feel awkward talking to a camera <laughs> With this uh, green envelope holds my letter. Um, I decorated it with, on the left here, we have um, a page from a vintage fairy tale book that I found. The pages are so old. When I glue them, they almost fall apart. But I think it looks really special. And then this is also a, um, a clip out from a vintage rose book that I got from my old neighbors. I think it's really pretty and I think it matches the envelope really well. And here I just wrote read me with a white gel pen and this is just the name of the rose that was also in the booklet and then I don't know if you can see it but here in the left corner and in the right corner I also did a little bit of doodling like some circles some dots and here some little stars with a golden marker mm, I mean like a golden gel pen and these are again um, some NML dots that I made with the Nouveau Crystal Drops. 
Yep. And I'm going to put a wax seal stamp on here. I'll do that at the end of this. And then, uh, excuse my cat once again. Then I also made this little, I just wanted to include something a little bit uh, extra special and handmade. And I was going sort of for a botanical theme. It happened sort of accidentally, but I, I just went with it. So I, I had this piece of paper. It's, I don't know, I don't know what else to say about the piece of paper. And then I made these nouveau, I use my new crystal drops to make these here in the corner, nice and gold. I also made some dots here in this corner, but I accidentally smeared them. So there was like golden glue, gold sparkled glue here in the corner, and I just decided just to go for it and like spread it out all the way to the top. So that it, like, instead of a failure, it became like a cool added touch. Then a strip of washi tape and... Um, I just used some foam tape to elevate this pretty sparkly golden die cut. Then, um, what I actually did is this paper that is on this page here is actually wallpaper. So I went with my dad to like the Home Depot or the construction store, I don't know what you call it, and they always have like these paint chips and wallpaper samples that you can take home to see if they would match your wall. And I took some home um, because I wanted to craft with them. So I found this one, um, which is like also botanical and the white here has like a subtle sparkle, which is kind of cool for crafting, but I don't know if I would want that on my wall. But, um, so this paper had actually a pink inside, which I really didn't like. Um, so I, I, I just put that wallpaper over there and I put some dark green paper over the other side. And then in here, we just have some really, really, really pretty. These are like currently my favorite stickers, um, stickers <laughs> with, uh, they're all flowers or leaves and they have gold foiling on them in a little baggie and then uh, in here i just i had i have these like these vellum envelopes but sometimes they fall apart or i don't know i just want to cut them apart so i cut one of them apart and then i used a tiny scrap of that vellum envelope to make this little pocket and i think it turned out really really nice then i just glued it down with some glue and i also used this um, sparkly golden washi tape to um, make the edges look nicer and I also tore the washi tape a little bit to you know make it look distressed and then this little tag just says my current favorite tea well guess what this is my current favorite tea it is chai with vanilla really nice and um, this is just a teeny tiny paper clip that I thought was really cute <clears throat> so that is part two of my mail. Then part three, before I do the wash, wax seal stamp, is this this little baggie that I made. And basically, what I did is I have like a magpie box. I like to call it my magpie box because in there is just everything that I collected that I thought would be pretty to use or to gift. And these are all my magpie. Finds. So we have like a little butterfly, a little book tag. We have some pretty washi type samples from Note and Wish. Um, a die cut, these pretty rose stickers. Oh, there's more in here, but it's stuck. Okay, there we go. And um, this little tag, botanical tag. And we have this little card that says you never know how strong you are until strong is the only choice you have. And then this beautiful um, bird card. That's all here in this little magpie bag. <laughs> um, I like to collect because I know that, I don't know, I don't like to throw stuff away. I mean, I do throw a lot of stuff out, obviously, but... Um, I also like to collect, as is quite usual with um, with crafters, I think. And those sounds you hear in the background is just my kitty cat running around. And then what I do is I um, punched holes in the top here. I got that idea from Wendy. I showed you her incoming mail in what my pen post sent me number seven. And I 
close it <clears throat> with some baker's twine. Okay, and then obviously I'm Oh, by the way, I told you, right, news is acting all crazy because it's probably going to storm. Well, it's raining now, so she was totally right. Okay, so I'm going to... This is obviously going in the envelope. No, I'll first make the wax seal stamp because you guys love that so much, as do I. So please feel free to let me know how you like this video so far. Is this something you want to see me do more often or do you prefer other type of videos? And I also want to know how you guys are, of course. I will start uh, by saying what I already said at the beginning of this video and that is that I'm actually doing quite okay. <laughs> this morning <clears throat> in Dutch we say that I stepped um, out of the bed with my right foot first <laughs> so basically means that you started your day feeling good and um, I did <laughs> because it's it's quite sunny I mean fall or autumn is really coming it's been really cold the last couple of days which is not really my thing um, except for when I can take out the blankets and uh, candles and stuff but it has been really really cold but this morning it was actually quite sunny and really really nice i had to go to therapy but um i was feeling really optimistic <laughs> even about traveling i just had my face in the sun on my bike and then i when i arrived at the train station i immediately found a spot for my bike which also usually feels like it's going to be a good day because there's so many bikes there you usually cannot really park it so that just felt like a good omen or how do you say that like a sign of a good day and I just read my book in the train and I just looked out of the window and it was all really really peaceful so I guess those are the things that make me happy and now I'm home I'm editing this video a little bit late uh, because it's already I'm already uploading it today actually for today and usually I like to be a little bit earlier but still I don't mind. <laughs> I'm already excited to think about Friday's video, what I will do for the Friday video. I don't even know what I'm doing on screen here. I'm just gone. Mm, I'm already thinking about that and I'm just sitting here with the sunshine in our little apartment and Noos being asleep finally. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee and um, Hopefully you guys are doing just as fine. And then this is the wax seal stamp that I'm making. The wax seal that I'm making, I always say it wrong. It's with a dark green and a dark greenish gold. And I really love that. And then I'm using that big square stamp, which is one of my favorites for sure. Okay, so I put in three wax seal beads and I thought that would be enough, but unfortunately it's not. So this wax seal will be a little bit small, um, but I hope it still turns out okay. And so does Noos. <clears throat> this is like the hardest moment. I always, I'm always impatiently waiting. And Noos is also impatient. I'll open the door for her. I think it should be done. I return out quite okay. It's not even that bad. It's still like big enough in my opinion. Take a picture for Instagram, of course.
And now I have to take some pictures first, but I'll show you what it looks like when I will send it. When is the last time you sent out meal or did something kind to a stranger? I actually had a very funny conversation this morning waiting for the train because as you may have seen or I don't know if I've showed it already but I got a bag from Wendy with cats on it and a random stranger just started talking to me about how he always leaves his cats at home and then you have this little cute little sneak peek here a sneak peek there and I'm really hurry for that it should arrive tomorrow when I send it today so I really hope she likes this and on the one hand, it was kind of awkward talking with this unknown man about the cats on my bag. But uh, on the other hand, it was also quite funny. And I know that most people my age would just be there with their headphones in or not respond. But to me, it just felt like this could become a special memory from this day. Um, <clears throat> he talked to me and he said that he also had three cats. And I told him, well, I have only one cat, but I do work at the cat cafe. And then he said, oh, there you go. That explains why you're bringing your cats to work. <laughs> you know, it just at first I was so confused why he was talking about bringing cats. But then I realized I had all of these little cat prints on my bag. <laughs> I will have to show you guys on the channel one day. I already filmed that video, but with the P.O. Box opening videos, I've just had so many meal opening videos online that I thought I would wait a little bit until, yeah, you know, it calmed, calmed down a little bit with the P.O. Box. So I wouldn't upload too much of the same content at the same time in a row. Um, but I'm curious to see what you guys think about that. Would it be okay for me to upload a lot of incoming meal videos or do you prefer crafting videos or pen piling videos or please let me know i've been a little bit in doubt about what to upload what not to upload and um yeah i would love to learn from you guys and improve my channel some more so i hope you guys have a lovely day i hope you have plenty of time for yourself uh, for self-care and making meal and um I will see you again on Friday. <laughs> Don't forget to also subscribe to my second channel if you want to see that vlog that I am for sure going to upload this week. Okay, bye bye!